If you're driving south from L.A. International, it should take no more than a hit or two off of your favorite brand of cigarette before you're right here in Gordita Beach, California. Well, no, actually, this used to be the beach. Later on, all this is going to go high-rise, high-rent, high-intensity. But right now, back in 1970, what it is is just high. An ounce of Mexican commercial should run you no more than $10. And that's with the seeds and stems, of course. The neighbors here run mostly to surfers and dopers and stewardesses. Or more correctly, I guess, steward I live in Gordita because it's close to the airport. and tend to hang out between flights and the bars up and down the street. So pretty much every night here is party night. Oh, my name, uh, my name's Doc, and I'm a private gumshoe. Nowadays, more like gum sandal. I used to work the traditional Hollywood type of PI gig, setting up drug busts for parties and divorce cases, or helping the cops out with their many shakedown schemes and so forth. But since I moved out here to the beach, I've been more into the smaller tickets. Less karmic hassle, less guilt tripping, which doesn't bring in that much money, sometimes none at all. Sometimes it's even me that ends up paying the tab, whether it's in cash or something heavier. And that's, you know, it's groovy, or I guess it was groovy. Till one night my ex old lady shows up with a story about her boyfriend or actually older guy friend and his wife, her boyfriend. At that point it gets sort of peculiar. Maybe you'll just want to read the book. Inherent Vice, Penguin Press, 2795. 2795? Really? That used to be like three weeks of groceries, man. What year is this again? 